in this video i will discuss about cider in networking so let's get started so what is cider cider stands for classless interdomain routing uh, it is a method of assigning ip addresses in a network cider represents a block of ip addresses for example you might have seen while creating your vpc or subnet you provide a cider block like this 10.0.0.0/16 so we will see what this means what this slash 16 means in upcoming slides and it replaces the previous system of ip addressing which were based on class a class b and class c addresses the goal of introducing cider was to increase the number of available ip addresses thus decreasing the exhaustion of ip addresses in old class based ip addressing in old class based ip addressing there was a issue that uh, the number of ip addresses were exhausted uh, and um, many ip addresses are wasted while creating the networks for example if a company needed only 100 ip addresses it would have to take a class c address which provided 256 ip addresses so 156 IP addresses got wasted. So this wastage of IP addresses was uh, addressed in this CIDR, uh, CIDR uh, uh, notations. CIDR is based on subnet masking in which an IP address space is divided into subnets with different host counts. So let us see what it means. So you might have seen the CIDR block like this. So what is this? block means so this representation of is called a cider block or cider notation so in this notation the cider notation is represented like this uh, when uh, and we assign this cider block to a network for example in aws we assign this cider block to a vpc and subnet when we create a vpc we specify the cider block like this or when we create a subnet we specify the cider block in this form so cider block is divided into two parts the first part this part is called the ip address part and the second part is called the subnet mask so this slash 24 is the subnet mask so subnet mask what is subnet mask subnet mask is a 32 bit number or 8 bytes we can say 8 bytes number denoted like this so if we see slash 24 uh, is equivalent to the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 so what it means is in a 32 bit number the 24 bits would be ones and the remaining bits would be zeros for example in this subnet mask it would be in binary it would be equivalent to this 255 is equivalent to 1118 times then this 255 is equivalent to these ones so in binary you can see slash 24 means the 24 bits are ones so if you count these 8 bits 8 into 3 it's 24 24 bits are ones and the last byte is all zeros So in this CIDR range, how do we calculate how many IP addresses we will get? So it is a simple formula where what we do, we do 2 to the power 32 minus 24, this slash 24, which is equivalent to 2 to the power 8, which gives us 256 IP addresses. So this CIDR block would give us 256 IP addresses. Let us see one more example. Suppose we have this cider block 10.0.1.0 slash 16. So how many IP addresses will we get in this? So the first part is the IP address and second part is the subnet mask part. So subnet mask as we know is a 32 bit number which will be denoted like this. So for this slash 16, the 16 bits would be ones. 16 bits would be ones and the remaining 16 bits would be zeros in binary so in binary it would be like this the first 16 bits would be ones 
and the remaining bits would be zeros. So if we calculate the number of IP addresses that we will get in this with this CIDR block, it would be calculated like 2 to the power 32 minus 16, which will be 2 to the power 16, which will give us 65536 IP addresses. So in this way we can uh, we can design our CIDR block based on how many IP addresses we need. So the calculation would be simple 2 to the power 32 minus x where x will be this slash 16 this value. So let us see this with an example in AWS. Suppose we have an, we have an AWS region where we have an availability zone and we created a VPC in this region with this side of block 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and inside this VPC we created a subnet uh, in an availability zone uh, with side of block 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and inside that we have an EC2 machine with IP address 10.0.1.5 so for this subnetwork, say subnet slash 24 subnet mask, the subnet mask would be 24 bits would be ones and the remaining bits would be zeros. So subnet mask would be like 255.255.255.0 which in binary would be this. So we can see. So in this subnet mask this part which is all ones is called the network part for example 24 bits in this example this is the network part in subnet mask and the remaining part which is zeros will be the host part so whenever a request for this machine this ip 10.0.1.5 comes to this network so how how does the router know that this request should go to this network and to this particular host which is decided by this subnet mask so through the subnet mask the router could know that the network part is this this is the network part so how it is calculated so we have this IP address 10.0.1.5 which in binary would be equivalent to this value so when a request comes, this IP address binary value and the subnet mask value, these are logically uh, end. Th these are logically ended, and the result of this logical end is the value through which we find out in which networks this IP address uh, resides. So in this example the network part is 10.0.1 so the router identifies that this request is for subnet 10.0.1 and in this net subnet the host is 5 so this is the host so in this way the router uh, forwards the request to the machine in this network using the IP address as the subnet mask I hope this uh, explanation was helpful. So if you want to calculate uh, the CIDR box, you want to find out how many, how many IP addresses you will get in a CIDR block, what would be the subnet mask, there is a very good uh, website where you can calculate these things. So suppose you have a CIDR block 10.0.0.0/24, you can calculate it will tell you that you will get 256 IP addresses what will be the first IP, what will be the last IP and the subnet mask for example suppose you want to calculate slider for this it will tell you what will be the net mask first IP, last IP in this range and the total number of hosts so this was all about this video, hope you liked the video, if you liked it please leave your comments and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done, thank you.